On this episode, we're going to review the entire line of the RZN golf balls. You might be surprised at which ball I picked as my favorite because it surprised me. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out which one I chose and why. Now, if you want to win yourself a sleeve of these balls, I'm also going to give you instructions on how to do that in the video. So stay tuned. So if you're anything like me, you're always trying to find a more premium ball at a lower price. And while I love Pro V1 and Pro V1X, those things are damn expensive. And there's nothing worse than pulling one of those shiny new pearls out of your bag and proceeding to hit it straight into the woods or into the pond. It's heartbreaking. It's like flushing $4 down the toilet. Well, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the RZN line of golf balls, which promises to give that tour performance at about half the price. This is their HS Tour, which is a four-piece construction. It promises to be similar in characteristic to a Pro V1X, but for only $34.95 a dozen. We've got the MS Tour, which is their three-piece construction ball, supposed to be like the Pro V1 for $29.95, and I like that price a lot. And then these ones, which I'm really excited to try out, the Distance model, which is also a three-piece construction, promising to give you longer drives and make those approach shots a little bit more manageable for the price of $19.95 a dozen. So really good value here. Let's take these things out on the golf course and see how they perform. All right, we have made it out to the course. I've got all three that we're gonna test against this Pro V1 AVX. Now I am not a robot, meaning I am not going to hit the exact same shot every time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit one shot with each of these balls on this hole, and we'll do this for three holes. So basically each ball will have a chance to be played for three complete holes. We'll see which one of these performs, and I'll give you all the differences and all the specs for each of these balls as I play it in real time. So I'll hit one shot with the HS, one shot with the MS, one shot with the distance ball here to start my drive, and then we'll proceed on. So the first ball I'm gonna play is the Titleist AVX. That'll be like our baseline ball, and then we'll proceed down the line of the RZN balls. All right, well that one leaked a little bit right, but it wasn't too bad, it was definitely good power. We're gonna try the HS Tour first. All right, first ball up to bat is the RZN HS Tour. I'll tell you what I like, they have that nice stripe there, so you can actually line up your putts, which is pretty cool. Um, as a paint job goes, this is not like your classic paint job. In fact, it's hard to see, and I'll see if I can get you a closer view, but there's little micro dimples inside of the dimples, which is very interesting. Supposed to be like the Pro V1X. Tell you what, it felt very solid. It actually, it sort of course corrected, which was interesting. Hopefully we can see it on the shot tracer, but it was starting to go a little left and sort of course corrected and straightened right out. Uh, I don't know if that's ball technology or what, but that was pretty cool. Um, so next up is the MS Tour. Okay, very similar results. I'd say it was a little bit of a fade on it, so maybe it's my swing or maybe there's a little wind down here. That one definitely had a little bit of a higher trajectory. Uh, felt probably about the same, honestly, off the club face, so we'll have to judge that on the next drives. But we've got one more, the long drive ball here, which is called the distance. It's going to be still a three-piece construction, which to me, that's pretty cool. Um, but you can see the difference there. It does have that same striping. The paint job's a little bit different, but this is the RZN distance ball. All right, that felt a lot more solid. Still, same similar trajectory, so there's definitely wind up there that's pushing it a little right, but they all flew very straight. Really excited so far with that result. Let's see which one is actually further along in the fairway. All right, we're coming up to the balls here. The first ball, which is further along, I'd say by at least five yards, is the AVX. So the, all the other balls are a little bit behind this one. Okay. As you can see, they're all very, very similar here. Uh, we've got... Actually, the this ball over here is the one that is furthest back. But again, hey, this could be the swing. Nothing's absolutely perfect. But this is the HS Tour. That one's the furthest back. Our second furthest back 
I'll be interested to see if this is the distance ball or the MS. That's actually the MS. And so the distance ball, as advertised, actually went farther. As you can see, they were all in a very, very good spot, all within really three, four yards of each other. Still a couple yards, probably five yards behind the AVX, I'd say. I've got about 131 yards to the middle of this green, but there's a lot of wind, so I'm gonna be hitting basically my 145 club, and we'll see how these balls perform from that distance. First ball is gonna be the AVX. Yeah, hit it pretty chunky. This is the HS Tour. I pulled it just a little bit, but it felt very, very solid off the club and it landed, it landed on the green. It may have rolled off. We've got the MS Tour. Man, that felt really good. It felt really good, but it was short. And lastly, the distance ball. Man, for a distance ball, again, felt really nice. And it landed in just about the same spot as the MS Tour. So one ball found the green. HS Tour is on the green. Okay, so I'll tell you what, even the balls that, the balls that missed were about 10 yards short. The HS Tour, which is the highest priced ball on the list, it landed right around here, right in the middle of the green, but it didn't necessarily check up, which that's a little bit concerning, honestly, because you want to have a little action on your ball. I was hitting a low iron there, an eight iron, so I should have had some decent action. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna chip these balls and see how they perform chipping. Again, I'm not a robot, which is why we're taking multiple shots here and multiple holes to see what performs the best. All right, we'll start off with the AVX, which I know has, for me, just about the right amount of spin. And that'll be sort of our bellwether. I'm gonna chip this so it rolls a little bit, a little bit of roll out. I don't want it to completely stick. I want it to roll a little bit. Okay, next up is going to be the HS Tour. HS Tour coming next. That one's tight. Next up is going to be the MS Tour. That one rolled out a little bit, which I wanted actually, but it just wasn't quite a com completely clean strike. And lastly, we've got the distance ball here. Another good shot. I'll tell you what, for a distance ball, it does not feel like a rock. That's what I would have expected, but it's that three-piece construction, it's gotta be. I'm gonna do this one more time. We'll start with the HS, actually we'll start with the AVX, so you can see sort of a baseline. Whoa, that was almost in. But you can see that one rolled out a little bit there. Next up is going to be the HS Tour. I hit the other ball. It feels really good coming off the club face though. Uh, next is gonna be the MS Tour. I hit that a little cleaner and that really did check up nicely. And lastly, the distance ball. Interesting, that one goes higher on the chips. Uh, I think I hit the same stroke. Ended up in a good spot with less rollout, but uh, I guess it's six and a half in one hand and 12 in the other. They're all good from the, from the green here. We'll start with a medium distance putt here, basically. AVX here. Oh, buttery smooth. It's a good roll too. Next up is going to be the HS Tour. 
felt really good. That's also in. Now we've got the MS Tour. Oh, pushed it just a little bit. It felt good. And the distance ball. <laughs> All right, three for four, that ain't bad. Oh, well, hey, by the way, remember I said you could win a sleeve of these balls? All you have to do is leave a comment below with the words RZN in there. RZN is the keyword. I'll be drawing a couple winners and I'll ship them out to you. RZN, leave a comment now below. All right, second hole here at Carrollwood. We're gonna keep the same order. We're going AVX, HS, MS, and the distance ball. One thing I'll say right from, that, from the get-go is they all felt reasonably soft, including the distance ball, which I didn't expect. However, none of them felt quite as soft as the AVX. And again, that's just per personal preference. I like a buttery soft feel. Some people like it a little firmer, so that's just preference, but I'm just gonna let you know what I'm feeling out here on the course. All right, let's go back, see if we hit a few more drives, see which ball wins round number two. Okay, definitely based on feel alone, as expected, the distance ball feels the hardest. The HS Tour felt very, very smooth. Now that's supposed to be more, again, like a Pro V1X, which is a little harder than a Pro V1. But of the three, that actually felt to me on that swing the smoothest. So again, just telling you what I'm feeling. And again, by no means am I a robot, but this is what you get. All right, now both of these were pretty similar poor shots, but that's the RZN, that's the AVX up here, a few more yards, but you definitely can't use that as scientific, <laughs> is what it is. One maybe caught a little better bounce coming down the hill. Let's go over to the other ones. All right, so here we've got the HS Tour in perfect position. That's the ball we'll play. Back here, again, not a great swing. But this is going to be our MS Tour. Actually, for being a pretty poor swing, it wasn't in too, too bad a shape. It's in the rough, but it could have been a lot worse. It definitely didn't like snap hook on me, which some balls definitely could do. So in terms of dispersion, these balls are performing pretty well. All right, so last phase of this test, we've got 159 shot. This is going to be like a seven iron for me. Felt very good. And that's just past the pin a little bit on the left hand side. Good shot. HS Tour. Another good shot there. And that's even a little tighter. Felt really good. It has a weird like sound to it, a weird little click, but it sound it looked good in the air. Another good strike there. That's right at the pin. Ooh. And last one up, the distance ball. Another one right at it. I'm starting to think I am a robot. Those are four really good shots. I don't even know which one's closer. I think the MS came up a little bit closer. Let's go check it out. Up to the green here, moment of truth. This is going to be very, very interesting and very, very close, I think. I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm pleased as a peach at what just happened here. So this is the AVX. I've got about 15 feet. Furthest away here is the distance ball. So it went about a yard, a yard longer than that ball, which is the MS Tour. And you pay a premium, and here's why. There's the HS Tour. I've got about seven feet for birdie. Wow. So I gotta say, they all feel buttery smooth. I will say the HS and the MS have an interesting sound to them. It's kind of like a click, but it feels really good off the face. The distance balls definitely feels a little harder. But I'll say, man, I, I really can't believe how smooth it is for a distance ball. Again, being three-piece technology, that's gotta be it. All right, so last test of the day, we're gonna try about a 70-yard shot. So what I'm trying to test here is spin and stopping potential. To me, I'd like to keep these balls stopping on a dime, maybe even backing up a little bit if possible. 
I don't put that much spin on these balls generally that they back up too much, but I'd like to see it maybe take one skip and stop. So I'm gonna place the camera here behind the hole so you can see the action these balls give in real time. Just so you know, I'll be hitting a sand wedge from about 70, 75 yards out. All right, so there you have it. That's the stopping power of these balls. I think I was really impressed with the MS there. That's definitely what you would think because it's supposed to compete with the Pro V1, so it's got some real good checkup. Distance ball, again, overperformed what I would have expected. And the HS Tour ball did just what I would think it would do. I'm gonna catch my breath now for hitting 100 golf shots in a row. All right, so now it's time for my candid thoughts on the RZN balls. I'm gonna give the entire line a solid four out of five and I was probably most impressed with their distance ball because for a distance ball it lived up to the billing it was the longest ball and it still had some good stopping power and I drained the putt one thing I'd say is I don't think the HS Tour really can quite perform like a Titleist but it's not too far off either and so for the price you've got to give these a serious serious look Hey, make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to do lots more golf tech reviews like this. We do them every single week on this channel, so hit subscribe and keep coming back, and I'll catch you on another edition of Let's Play Through.